Salam, salam. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Peace, everybody. Salam alaikum. Islam. Hotep. Whatever greetings that y'all go by. What's happening? So, uh, I want to get right into it and basically no man is an island. You've heard that several times. Let's see. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? I can't see your name, but, um, you've heard the saying that no man is an island. It's true. And uh, me being, let's just say, having several traits uh, of the, it's got to be my way or highway. <laughs> you know, I can be that person. And, and um, but I say this uh, the vast majority of things. I touch uh, exude excellence. I mean, high high quality excellence, if I dare say. So sometimes that can make you less patient with working with others because you're like, man, this this is, you know, uh, I might fall out with somebody over just just them being being sloppy you know just don't want to be around sloppy people so sometimes that can become an albatross for me and people like me because it's like you know I'm just gonna do everything myself um, but um, I realize that I can't do everything by myself and that there are competent people out here that uh, have tools and services that they have to offer. So that's why the title of this video is Come Grow with MOC, Masters of the Cosmos. And let me tell you, well, first of all, Masters of the Cosmos is an, is an intelligentsia. An intelligentsia that explores that which is beyond the, what is considered to be the normal. Okay? All right? And that's a, that, that, that defines it enough. Now, um, uh, what, what I need is I'm looking for somebody who can do uh, graphics, graphic design, who is proficient in Photoshop, um, and who can produce uh, tangible flyers and digital flyers, okay? I'm looking for somebody, and this is purely freelance stuff. Now, this is not like I got some nine to five job for you. This is, I'm looking for people that I can, con you know, do, do freelance work with. Um, so that is, that is the wave of now and the wave of the future. You know, you're gonna have to have some type of skill where you can differentiate yourself from others and make yourself valuable in the marketplace and we got to have a way to make sure that we can eat so that we can work that we have to do my cousin used to always tell me you know it's hard to be on your spiritual path when constantly all right um so and we need to you know collaborate in these little small hives that we can develop where we can work together. Man, we need to do this. Okay, so 
I covered that I need somebody who can do uh, graphic art digitally and you know that you, you know it can be converted to like flyers and so forth and that also covers doing CD art uh, DVD art artwork that means I need you to understand the specs of uh, laying out the design relative to uh, the, the you know the specs of, of an average DVD I need things like that I need somebody who can do videography in the Dallas Fort Worth area okay now you don't necessarily have to have your own uh, equipment I got some decent I have a decent camera you know DSLR I have a microphone uh, you know I have other little things where I can you know produce decent quality video I need somebody who has just videography skills so that if I'm going to do a, a, a lecture or um, I'm going to do a video or whatever, somebody basically who know how to operate a, a video camera. I don't necessarily need you to edit. I can edit. But if you can edit, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody who can, uh, that's uh, available. So, uh, what else? Those two for right now. I'm looking for people uh, that I can work with. Now, here's, I just told you earlier how I am. So, let me first say this. I'm not looking for nothing for free. I will pay. And I'm going to tell you why I prefer to pay because I am a perfectionist and I want my shit right. I don't want my shit misspelled. I don't, you know, I'm a writer. So I, you know, I, the one thing I don't want to do is put out no bad copy as a damn writer. So I don't want no misspelled shit. I don't want to work with nobody who's sloppy, you know, who don't take their time and, and, and double check their stuff and who's not efficient see you you can't so i want you to be detail oriented but not to the point where it takes you a month to do something that you could have done in a couple of days just because you're not efficient i need somebody who's efficient and detail oriented you know um and i would like to work with somebody who already understands the type of information I deal with and they have a connection to it. That makes a big difference. We can work out, you know, what your fee is and everything and, and all that. But I'm putting that out there because, hey, this is mass media. This is mass media. We can use this how we need to. Now, you know, on, in one regard, it can be a very detrimental weapon. And a lot of people use it in that fashion. They use mass media with malicious intent. Okay? We, as, as well, just as people can use it with malicious intent, we can also use the same format to uplift, to speak truth, to empower, you know, and to make sure that we can keep our lights on. Not to hustle people, not to hoodwing people, not to bamboozle people, not to try to put them in a trick, as my grandmama say, but even swap no swindle i'm giving you good energy universe demands that i receive it back and that as well as i receive it it demands me to keep the process going of returning it reciprocity okay i understand this give and take ebb and flow relationship 
that goes on within the cosmos, okay? So, um, sorry for y'all who might have been tuning in and looking for a good old homegrown deep message today, but um, that's, that's what I need. And I'm looking to work with somebody who is, you know, looking to expand their scope of interest. plane um now a lot of those lines let me tell you about something that i do which a lot of y'all are probably aware of by now that that i write and i'm a freelance writer so do you have a story that you've been wanting to tell but you're not exactly comfortable as a writer. I offer my services to either uh, tutelage for writing or just flat out ghost writing. You're a teacher, you know, you know writing's not your thing, but that does not mean that you don't have gifts and you don't have uh, information to offer. It's just that Writing is just not your strong suit. Well, nobody has to know <laughs> that you didn't exactly pin your whatever you're writing. Book, blogs, whatever. Um, people do it all. I mean, that's that. the vast majority of copy you read is not written by people who, whose names are attached to it especially books by celebrities and things and people ain't writing them books it goes written so that does not negate the fact that you have powerful information to share so if that's a situation you find yourself in and you need some help i'll let your boy all right what i want to talk about today so this is gonna be the bonus because some people ain't gonna click on the video maybe because it's not a title that that uh sparks their interest or catches their eye so for those of you who do who are on here for the live and who who uh decide to click on the video let's uh let's entertain this is the matrix winning let's entertain that is the matrix winning you know make sure my phone ain't gonna heat up now this is just something i just want you to chew on you can think about it as you go throughout whatever but when i uh look in my uh my back end on my YouTube channel, you know, they give you these options. Like even for a live right now, I have this option where uh, questionable comments can be held. Okay, questionable con content can be or comments that people make can be held up before they're posted. Now I know a lot of people use that use that feature okay and that's their business but you know the first thing that came up in my mind when i saw that i was like well first of all who or what is determining what's questionable the think about the think about the the mind game here oh you think that you have some control because they you know there's an option listed that says that Oh, if somebody's on here being an asshole. Oh, we can we can hold these comments up before they get out of order. You know, we can we can slow that down. Now, if you ain't thinking, you can be like, yeah, okay, because I know it's gonna be some haters out there. Let me. But think about the big scheme of this thing. It's not you. It's it's something else that's making the determination. 
priming you, priming you for censorship. Okay? You have the ability to disable comments when you put a video up. And I understand why people disable comments. I mean, all of us know can can understand that when you read comments on videos and it's like man people get on there and they just go in man they 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 you know think about it the internet is a great place for cowards i mean i'm somewhere in my mama's basement you know in my grandmama's back room i got me a little cheap laptop you know from the pawn shop and I can get on here and I can talk shit to people that I know I wouldn't try that with in person. So I understand why people disable com comments, but I want you to stop and think about that. Think about the consequences of you being able to say, I'm going to stop your ability to say something. I'm going, you know, I have a way of cutting off your voice and it's like, man, do we see how we being programmed? And I even, I'm even talking about myself here. We are all subject to this programming it, you know, at some time, some place we're subject. Let me think of something else I've seen. Uh, lives where my moderators at where my moderators moderators y'all need to get on your job uh uh you get on here talking crazy i'm gonna block your ass block another way to condition us to to censor ourselves and usher in the era of ultimate you know, like the book 1984, ultimate censorship. Okay. Um, flag a comment. We have the option to go in and flag comments. If somebody says something that we find offensive. Now think about this. Some comments may be presumably over the top, you know? Okay, I'll flag it. But what if somebody just wants to flag a comment because somebody said something that is a counter to what they said, but they weren't, they weren't derogatory, they weren't disrespectful, they just presented a counter perspective and a person say, oh, I'm just gonna flag this shit because this might reveal something about me. Let me flag this now and get it in the process of Google, you know, taking the comment down and investigating this person's account and somebody's, you know, you got people's YouTube pages getting shut down and da 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 and and, and we think that we are so outside the box in our thinking and the matrix is just chuckling. Because look what we do. Copy copyright infringement. You can file one of those on YouTube. And you know, all of us probably done been hit by that. Uh, either a warning or something where you done tried to play. You used to be able to get, rid, get away with playing somebody's instrumental of a track instead of the song. You can't play none of that now. You're going to get a strike. But, okay, we can understand that they, they, the, they, they, they the, the boss hog. They're running the show. So we already know what they're about. They've given us the ability to, to, to play in the sandbox, you know? Censorship is useful sometimes. We censor our profanity in front of children for a reason. Yeah, we do. We do. But the difference is that you Censoring yourself is sovereignty, okay? 
but we're talking about other people taking away another uh, taking away a person's ability to communicate okay hold on one second So, um, what I'm saying is, this is another example of Hegelian dialectic. The same people who operate and set up the, the, the ability for us to censor each other based on something being out of hand are the same people who set up the platform to create such energy. We're talking on a larger scale. We're talking about the big picture here of we get corralled into situations based on uh, people or maybe uh, computers who have studied human nature enough to create an environment where you will put these people and watch them act in a predicted manner. I mean, don't we always talk about that about the ghetto or what has or what has become to be the accepted definition of the ghetto? You know, we accept um, we accept the so-called urban environment where you find more melanated people that's become the new uh the new the new norm for what ghetto is when in reality ghetto has nothing to do with that group of people ghetto comes from europe but either way um what the hell was i going with that uh, oh, yeah, the ghetto was set up as an experiment as far as how it's been run over here in the United States. An experiment where if you put people on top of each other, up under each other, beside each other, everywhere you turn, somebody's on top of you. How much conflict can be created in an environment like that? That was the experiment. And it was based on ants. We put enough ants into this box and suffocate them and let's just sit back and see how much damage is done. And then they have something called crime data or crime statistics. And someone goes around and they use the media to report on all these crimes. That's why they have to have lead off on 10 o'clock news, lead off 5 o'clock news. If there's some crime, lead off with it, you know. So that is building the case for why we need more policing. And then the people in the areas who are being terrorized by the crime are going to cry out for more police presence. Why ain't y'all over here protecting us from these criminals? So what you do is you end up coming back to the same people who created the whole experiment in the first place and you're begging them for some relief. And then they say, okay. And they'll, they'll, they'll keep going to where it seems like it's getting ignored. If you can remember back in the 90s, uh, you had a lot of, you would have people, you would see these things show up at these town halls where people would be irate about, where's the police presence and da 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 da, da and, 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 and what they started doing was building these substations in neighborhoods. Y'all got to go back and think. Go back into your mental, your, into your memory, and remember when the substations started popping up. So they had to look like they were ignoring the people, and they kept on, they kept on, you know. And then, all of a sudden, it increased. Police presence increased, and then you started having more police brutality but it all was all set up and planned out 
to create enough crime by putting people in a situation where they're on top of each other and deprived of the basics of life, okay? And then we will create the outcome that we ultimately want. I'm telling you, the same game is going on. Allow them to police each other. Allow them, because you got to understand, the majority of our lives, we are living as nobodies. The majority of us have no power. Feel no power in our lives, okay? For whatever reason, feel no power. So, see, this is how a lot of your con artists prey on people too. Understanding that science and understanding trigger words that lock you in, okay? And get you emotionally attached to something. It ain't gotta be something, it just gotta be something get you something you can attach to then I got you well here's the thing same thing goes on here we give people the power to feel like they have power oh no 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 excuse me we give them the feeling of them having power the feeling I, I said one time when I was growing up when you uh when when what's happening peace when uh when I played football in high school, if you got up Sunday morning and Ying was in the paper, oh man, we cutting the clip out. We might laminate that shit. But how about if you get up and your picture and your name in the paper? Oh baby, we might need to go and have a cookout. You know, uh. And don't let you have a game and they got a clip of you on the nightly news. You calling up to the television station trying to figure out how you can get a copy of the tape. Now, anybody can get on TV whenever they want with something called YouTube, with something called Facebook Live, with something called Instagram, Snapchat, you name them. It goes on and on. Anybody can get on TV whenever they want. You see what I'm saying? So, shit. I can be a star now. And, and so you, you give people what they've longed for. And what you end up doing is pulling them. Uh oh, okay, hold on. Trey Young. But I edit and compose, but my drawing skills aren't as up to par. Okay, uh oh, hold on. Before I close this video, I got to figure out how to go back and read these damn. See, the ones at the top, I can't see. Shit. Okay, check this out. I got to stop right here before I. Why this on my mind? If you heard the first part of the video or whatever, you know, and about I'm looking for a, a person who can do videography and I'm looking for a person who can do digital artwork or, you know, graphics and so forth, like whether it's for DVD, uh, CD cover, T-shirt design, all that, then here's the deal. Email me at info at mastersofthecosmos.com. And if you have any sample of your work, that is that is what I really, really would like to see. You know, info at mastersofthecosmos.com. Email me. Okay, now back to where we were at. You give people the opportunity to now be somebody. Because think about it. Like I said, you we we live our lives with our identity stripped and with and, and left to feel if you don't have something in you if you don't have something in here that you can call on and pull out you up shit creek in this world that people are going to rape and abuse you i told you my father created mythos about our name so i grew up just thinking man that i just grew up thinking i was better Better than the average Joe. 
If nothing else, it is off the mythos that my father had created. So that helps me navigate. And that don't and that ain't no uh, 100%, you know, foolproof. Hell, I fuck up. But it helps me navigate. You got to have that in this world because now they're going to give you everything to to feel. To feed the child who was never fed, who's still hungry and who's been pushed back. And now because that child lacks the maturity, when it comes out to feed, it causes chaos. Because now the child is in opposition to the adult. In psychology, they teach, and this is Jungian psychology, Carl Jung. It is, can't kill the shadow, uh, but you also aren't supposed to let the shadow take over. You have to integrate it. Carl Jung is 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 the foremost, I would say, he in Western psychology. He's the author of the thought of integration. Integrating the shadow or the child, the repressed child with the adult. Okay, but what they're doing is they want to feed the child in its childlike state, in its mind. It comes and it causes havoc because in a Western society, the goal is to rob you of your childhood. Man, I hope somebody hearing me. It is to rob you of your childhood. And then at the time when your childhood should have been cultivated into your adulthood, now they feed you childhood shit. It's flipping it. But because that child never developed, it's just, it's all off kilter. And I'm telling you, it is replete throughout this whole thing of people who say they're in metaphysics and all that. And it is replete throughout this world because the, we have a lot of people whose ch who the child was never nurtured and these are wounded children and big bodies with credit cards and car notes who are trying to do adult things still have a child like mine. So that the, the childlike creativity can't be activated through a mature so then it becomes malicious because it's 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 almost like you know when i was a child you had the little yuck mouth the little yuck signs you know that they, they had a the little thing with a tongue be hanging in a yuck mouth they had this whole campaign about all the stuff that was under your uh reverse psychology for sure uh that would be under your account and they would they would tell you to put the yuck mouth symbol on it you know so it's like we're like now like the children uh, who are getting under the cabinet and getting hold of the bleach and the ammonia and using this stuff. And this shit is dangerous. Ammonia should be used, you know, it's bad enough to mop your flow with it. But damn, drink it. Shit. But thing, my professor. My favorite professor in college, Dr. Meg, was said, information is hoarded. It is then uh, distorted. It's then embellished and then it's flooded. And we are in the information flooding part right now. That's exactly why they call us boy and why we say black girl magic instead of woman. Right on. Um... So, yeah, you know, and it's, it's, it's just and, and what I'm really just saying is just just something to step back and just reflect on it and just, you know, be in the moment, you know, be in the moment and think, you know, um, it's not to say, you know, you eat, you eat the fish and spit out the bones. I'm not going to be anti media because hell, this is I was born. You know, that's what I, that's, 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 and media comes from medium, means magic. So, I mean, hey, <laughs> I mean, so our job is to take this thing and make the magic with it. And not somebody work their magic on us through it. If anybody's going to be the magician, it needs to be you. Okay. And you take this thing, this magical wand that we have and you wield the wand 
not somebody have the power to wield it on you. You better pay attention. Pay attention. Watch and you know, watch and wait. You know, not wait as in be docile, but wait as be awake and aware. What's happening, Tracy Johnson? Uh, awake and aware of what's going on around you. Okay. So um, I'm gonna stop right there. Um, from that standpoint, I'll let y'all answer the question: Is the Matrix winning? You know, uh, this always important. All great societies have had an intelligentsia. Uh, have had a, a central network. That's why in your body you have a central nervous center. You know, you might have fingers and hands, but that's got to be a central place where information is processed. Okay? And, that, and that's how your whole body is. It, your body is Kabbalah. The center pillar is your, your, your spine. Your crown is literally your, you know, your skull, your brain, and this is the central processing unit along with the heart, which is Tifereth. Central processing unit that is sending out instructions. We are an intelligentsia. All right. So, uh, my close on this, and. However it sounds, I'm not worried about it because it's the truth. I'm a genius. I've been, a, I've, 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 I've always been a genius, and I don't mean that to be egotistical. No, it's, it is. I am a genius. Now, I've said this before. Now that I remember, I feel, and I know that the people. Who are attracted to me it is because they are genius make no bones about that see you can't appreciate intelligence unless you fucking got some only motherfucker who don't appreciate intelligence is an unintelligent person so if i call myself a genius and i have attracted you which i have i've worked my mojo but it also means because you're a genius that you attracted me. You worked your mojo. You put out the bat signal. And we found each other. So as much as I say I'm a fucking genius, and baby, you best believe I'm a motherfucking genius. Make no bones about that. But won't, I want you to know that you are a goddamn genius. So therefore, you have the ability to position yourself how you need to, to always see what you need to see and to extrapolate the truth even out of the muck and the dirt and the stench of feces. Extrapolate the truth. Your genius affords you that ability and that's why you and I have our roads have crossed because it's time for it intelligence god damn it Lakeo I was just about to say that man I'm gonna tell you That go example of genius right there. Don't you know that when two minds work in a synchronistic form, that's because it's genius on both sides? You can't pull from nothing that don't have nothing. That's genius. Before I can get the shit out of my mouth. Intelligence, discernment, confidence. Got to have it, y'all. You got to have it. So I appreciate you geniuses. You uh, 
you masters of the cosmos for tuning in as always and um want to remind you as always um to stay down i'm giving you kabbalah right here this this closing that i always give is 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 something that you might hear a person on the block or in your neighborhood or whatever it's just some common you know how we talk stay down till you get up when you get up stay down you know so some of my some of my my my, my folk might call me that and they'd be like what's up jab like man slow motion but show more that even is some some divine shit the shit we say stay down till you get up and when you get up stay down you know they say kevin is everywhere but nowhere and that's not even the greatest that's just the first that's just the first coagulation of divine energy is keza but there's more beyond that but keza is everywhere and no fucking where i'm up and i'm down at the same time stay down till you get up and when you get up stay down for real man that's kabbalah that's the center pillar that is that is uh uh vishnu sinking to the deepest depths of hell and brahma taking off to the highest heights but they form something that keeps them forever connected the christ energy called shiva stay down till you get up y'all and when you get up stay down listen to what i'm telling you and you move to and fro as you please not as some other motherfucker try to use some simple little mickey mouse brainwashing techniques to use on you now one day you're gonna come back and review some of these videos and you're gonna know what i'm really saying for now i just gotta say it the way i'm saying it like my grandmama say i'm saying what i'm saying <laughs> that's when she when she about to get in your ass i'm saying what i'm saying so stay down till you get up and when you get up stay down hit me up info at masters of the cosmos.com peace